All right, sup guys, this is a little pre that I'm gonna pop in before the vlog starts. I just wanna let you guys know that merch is live on talaskaracing.com. So check out the link in the description, go there, check it out. There's gonna be more stuff added and I might do some giveaway stuff with some of the misprint. So just uh, go check it out. All right, here's the vlog. What's up guys, it's Corey Talaska. We're back here for another vlog and I'm super hyped. Uh, Round one, Orlando already happened, and I will do a recap of that, but right now, I just kind of wanted to get you guys updated on where the car is even at. I haven't really posted a video in a while, so I really want to kind of get you guys up to speed, is what the hell this thing is, and then what we're doing, and then I'll come back, do the recap of Orlando, and hopefully keep up with this year, how FD goes, how our other endeavors go, because I'm pretty stoked. Here's the car as it sits with its livery and everything now. I want to go over this whole thing with you guys for this video and show you guys what we're working with for our first year prospect. So bam, let's start off with the body. We still got big duck club, basically everything. We got skirts, overs, the rear, these are full rear quarters, the, uh, the, the fiberglass trunk lid, everything is nuts. The big duck club stuff looks super good and I've gotten in collisions with it and it just lives up to almost everything that I put it through and uh, everything fits right on the box. Wouldn't run anything else on uh, this chassis. As you can see, we're rocking stage wheels this year. I got the stage knights in white, 18 inch in the rear, 17 inch in the front, and these wheels are light, they're consistent. I'm uh, super hyped to, in the whole exterior package of the car to be able to run a consistent rear. All my rears are the same. I don't have to deal with adjustment and offset because that adjustment with where that wheel sits affects how the car feels. So now we're just consistent. Kind of jump into the rear of the car here. We did kind of remount everything in our whole rear. We got a radium fuel cell, which kind of, this is where the radiator was. So now the radiator is pushed back and uh, the fuel cell is to, kind of took its place. All Beachworks pumps, all Beachworks fuel lines was uh, super easy to make the whole setup. We did reroute our cooling line a little bit. Here's our fill. This is uh, the, the radium fill that they offer as well. This, uh, this reservoir is actually for our diff overflow, just in case, you know, we make a quick gear change, we put some fluid in it, uh, maybe it ends up being a little bit full, it can make a super big mess. So instead of just having a filter down on our diff, uh, we actually ran a uh, overflow reservoir, and there's a reason why I put this on, because I experienced covering the whole rear of my car with uh, diff fluid already. So jumping down underneath the car, as you can see, radium fuel cell again, our batteries mounted under here off to the side, as we are rocking uh, the Siki winner's quick change setup. So the subframe is offered by Quickie, bolts right in. We do have uh, the Siki kind of cover on the winner's quick change, the six bolt. This thing is probably one of my favorite additions to the car. It's super easy to do gearing change because gearing is huge in a drift car for how I drive. I mean, no matter what, but a lot of guys uh, in the Pro-Am and before this, you know, they're changing out their welded rear diffs to find and find tweak the gearing for that track. But being able to find tune this much, this fast is a game changer. I am still rocking single rear caliper with uh, the Chase Bay's handbrake and all Chase Bay's lines. I love the uh, Chase Bay's handbrake. It's super tight, it's super consistent. All their lines are the perfect length. Everything mounts nice, it's easily replaceable. And we'll get to, I also am running their, it was like their first one that they kind of developed, the Dual Reservoir Master. Uh, works super well as well. Again, awesome parts. Pop open the door here. I have uh, two Sparkle seats. This has been the same setup that I've had. I have our Safecraft fire suppression system where there's a nozzle underneath blown at me in the engine bay, in the trunk, blowing the fuel cell, along with, uh, there isn't a bottle in it right now, but that is our tank basically for our full nitrous outlet system, which is another, probably one of my favorite things that we did to the car with the 2J, it is game changing. I'll put a, the dyno graph on the screen right now. You guys see that torque curve, and that's because of the nitrous coming in the low end. It is absolutely nuts. It makes the car super drivable, fun to drive, different speeds, in tandem, I love it. Over to the center here, like I said, I got the Chase Bay's handbrake and their uh, 
brake bias. And then this is the IRP shifter from Condor Speed Shop. I do have my little uh, Fur Comp Samsona sticker here because the trans in this car, again, one of uh, my favorite additions is their Samsonis h pattern four speed. The thing is nuts. It is just, it feels so good to drive, to go through the gears, off the line. It's, uh, it's a really solid product and I definitely hope to be able to continue, maybe run their sequential, put this four speed in another car, love it. Another cool addition is a bunch of sheet metal work in the back, thanks to my pops. He kind of, we had to make a little bit of some more room in the rear firewall, I guess, to make room for the radium fuel cell without we're just kind of rearranging everything in the back. Uh, sheet metal works dope, thanks pops. Pop open the hood to look at the beautiful 2J powerhouse. I love this engine so much. We got a Garrett GTX 3582 turbo. We got both tile, blow off valve, wastegate. Like I said, we moved the dump a little bit. We got our vibrant uh, oil overflow run with our, we have our radium little pop-in fittings here that go into the valve cover. Here's part of our nitrous outlet setup. This kit is literally nuts. I love the purge pops just like right out the hood. So obviously I can see it, but at Orlando, it was super sick. I like, you know, did my burnout in the burnout box, you know, pulling up, engage the nicer system, purge it. People who can all see it are like, woo, this is sick. And uh, yeah, it's dope. I got socks for days over here when it comes to uh, all the Chase Bay stuff. Here's that dual reservoir master I was talking about. You know, their external basically, you know, clutch reservoir, part of the Dietworks fuel system. Got our Chase, another Chase Bay sock on their power steering reservoir, which is run with all of their lines. And then kind of leads into our KRC power steering pump with the Rad Industries mounts. Same thing, Rad Industries mounts for all of our cooling system, which I don't have a water pump up here. That's all in the back. Got a mesmer pump in the back. Another key thing you see up here is uh, the external shock reservoirs. These are Yellow Speed Three Way Pro shocks. These things are insane. I definitely got to put these things to the test on some of the flat tracks that we were testing at. But Orlando, it was it was unreal. The adjustability that we can fine tune into this suspension once I started to understand a little bit more, we were able to fine tune. I mean, Orlando is known for that super aggressive transition and then the basically the jump in the transition right post transition in the center. And our car handled it beautifully all weekend. It almost never upset the car. And I had people just, just by visually watching it, they're like, wow, your car is so settled throughout the entire track. And I felt that and can't thank, thank Yellow Speed enough. You know, we got the, their true coils also in the rear. Same thing, there's external reservoirs on these bad boys. There they are mounted right here. So I can get to all my adjustment kind of through behind the rear firewall here. I don't have to remove anything. So if we need to make a quick adjustment in between practice or whatever uh, on the hot grade, it can be made. So that's really the setup. That, that's the whole engine setup. The one thing I did add this year, which I didn't have, which I should have, is uh, I got an oil cooler. So that's one thing I added. For our kill, instead of having a giant switch, we are rocking the CarTech Motorsport Kill Switch. I love just having this little button. It's low profile. I don't have to cut into my hood. It's literally just someone, you know, got to kill it. Reach underneath, boom, click the button. Everything's killed. And in a nutshell, that is the car. Basically everything on this car is, has been assisted, put together by some of our partners, even if not jumping on board after seeing all the product on our car and us being able to perform. And it's really exciting to be able to work with products that I love and that are on the car and that I can prove to use. The final shout out for this build has to go to Med Meridian, which they are a tile sponsor, hood, side of the door. They are not a product on the car, but they jumped on board this year and really kind of changed the season for us. You know, they they hooked us up with our rig setup, which I will save for another video, not to make this video too long. And it really changed the year for us with traveling all over, um, going to all these events, trying to go to more events than FD. You know, they made it happen and I can't thank them enough. We are 116 this year. My number is has been 16 since I was like four years old. Uh, Jonathan Cash Hearst does have that uh, number secured. They don't share numbers or they, uh, they do share numbers between pro and pro spec so that no one overlaps. So I did take on the 116 this year, which I am, uh, I'm okay with. I like the triple digit number. I'm totally down with it. I do have some stuff in the works. Can't forget about our uh, good old anime homie sponsor, which is Lude Complex. We got some stuff in the works with them when it comes to merch, as you can see already, they're on the hat as well. Um, 
they're good people. I'm really excited to be able to do some business with them this year, merch-wise, because that is what they do. Um, and I love supporting the, supporting the culture, you know? So bam, this is the E36 pro spec car for this year. We are running GT radial tires. That is the spec tire for the sponsor. Everything's being hooked up by Frank at Tire Stacks. He is taking care of all the tires for all the pro spec guys and some of the pro guys at these events. It's nuts. They got four tire machines. They crank it out. They had over a thousand tires delivered to round one. It was a crazy sight to see. I'll post a picture of that right here. It's absolutely nuts, so many tires in one spot. They unloaded them literally all day Wednesday of round one. It was absolutely nuts. So that is the conclusion of the video. You guys know we're working on the car. We're running Prospect this year. 2021 is gonna be a dope year. I'm super hyped. So like, comment, subscribe. Remember, hit up Talaska Racing. Link in the description for merch. There's both team shirts, hats, stickers, and more stuff's gonna be added. I do have a bunch of merch that was printed with a 16 on it. Like I said, we're 116 this year. So I am thinking about maybe doing like a little giveaway or something like that on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram, but uh, see you next time.